Okay guys, since uh, WordPress 5 is out and the major update is Gutenberg Editor. So let's uh, just review it and I will give you a complete review of uh, this update. So let's get started. Okay, so uh, the theme we will be using for this uh, overview would be 2019 which is already available and if you click on the theme details you can see that it is Gutenberg ready for WordPress 5 all your plugins and themes must be Gutenberg ready otherwise they won't work and you will have a lot of issues so if you don't see that any plugin or theme is actually ready you should not activate it so let's just get started by adding uh, a new post and uh, that's how it is going to look and uh, on the top uh, bar that's a tool bar here you can see list down all your tools that is adding new block undo and redo that is the info block and that is the listing block navigations and that is for transforming and alignment and simple text bold links uh, striking and further more options and here's the preview publish and that's a settings button uh, uh, I will get to that later and that's uh, the furthermore menu options and that is for view editor and tools here you can see all the list of tools and shortcuts so this is how on the top and uh, this is the content section and uh, on the right hand side are the properties so these are the properties uh, with two tabs with blogs and documents uh, document means if you want to change you know what we used to have on the right hand side uh, it is exactly the same so we can define categories tags featured images excerpts discussions we can see all over in here and uh, on the blog section is if you click on any blog you would see the properties right over here something like this clicked on the blog and I can see the paragraph and all the settings in here so if you want to work now destruction free you can also use that the full screen mode and you can hide the property and now you have a full screen and you can simply edit it and furthermore that is a unified toolbar so this uh, this means there are a few tools on the top and uh, on the top side if you when you have a multiple lot of blocks uh, in your editor you don't want to scroll up and uh, go to the top bar you can actually have the bar right where you're editing the blog so there right here you can change it so if you are not a fan of you know having a diversified uh, toolbar you can actually fix it on the top so that's how it is and that's for the spotlight mode uh, spotlight mode means uh, if you are editing a special specific block and uh, that's another block and you can see that we are editing this block but the color of this and this is almost same so we will just move, use the spotlight mode and that would lighter the other blocks just to realize that we are currently editing this block this is something a good feature that these are uh, these are the two view settings and then there's an editor setting where we used to have a text and a visual version so that's where is the code editor is so you can actually replace by uh, using uh, this menu section visual editor and code editor and then there's a tool section where you can uh, manage all the reusable blocks we will get to that later and then there's an option where you can see all the keyboard shortcuts and copy you can also copy all the contents and there are further options there are further options for actually for to view uh, these are just general options you can enable disable tips to if you don't understand uh, the editor at start and these are all the advanced uh, panels which we used to have uh, in our default uh, editor or classic editor you can say and okay now let's go to the keyboard shortcuts uh, here you can have a plenty of shortcuts you can uh, memorize it for your editing as since you were doing in your classic editor so these few of them might have changed so you might need to get through this once you're used to it it's really simple and easy 
to use okay now it's time to add some blocks and uh, test each and every block and see how it works I'm going to use uh, a unified toolbox and uh, a full screen mode and mm, I guess I should enable the spotlight mode okay now it's time to add a new block well if I want to add a block this this will be the button to add it and there are lots of categories over here first try the first one that is inline element and uh, select the image I can upload it and it's a little messed up there's a paragraph behind because I added the block in a, inside another block you can actually do that but let's just uh, first remove this block and create another independent inline image block so select it uh, select it and select it and there you can add your text or summary to the image and stuff like that so that's the inline image block now the new block is uh, uh, actually let me just take a look at the shortcut key for adding a new block and that will be something I would use when the next time I will add a new block uh, yeah here's the shortcut to add a new block let's use that and we have it and we click on the block and uh, in the block elements is done and let's go for the common blocks these are the paragraph block simple as it couldn't be with this block you can add your text let's paste our stuff over here let's make a all block okay so now let's add another block with the common block which is a heading that's how you can add it the heading as you can see on the right hand side you can change the heading one two three and text alignment and in the advanced section you can actually change change uh, the css class of this heading so i have made it heading three that's how you can edit this block and uh, now we can also add code and image let's first code someone that's the code and uh, with the code i can write citation let's take abc for example and again on the right hand side you can notice that i can add it the style and css now let's add an image that same old library we will select the same image and we can uh, set the image size on the right hand side and we can even transform it using the toolbar i just transformed it into a cover picture so with the cover picture i can change the properties on the right hand side and i can adjust it using the toolbar just like that and i think i would go for the full page and then again I will try something new uh, I've already tried cover image let's try the list now it is the li as we used to add it in our uh, classic editor mm, simply pressing enter but add uh, a new item to our list that's the list block with the properties on the right hand side as you can see there are plenty of options there and then we will have a, a gallery a video or image is something which is almost similar so we can also add gallery i mean this was a feature which we used to have in classic editor but we use a shortcut and now we can have uh, it separately in the block so that's a good start mm the next block 
is the audio video file we can also embed audios and videos using this blog I'm not gonna go through that and I guess that's all for the common blocks hmm. now let's go for the formatting well there are plenty of things over here since we can also add custom HTML in here like you can also add a script or a script tags using this block which is uh, awesome because it was not there before we used to have a, a switch to text to editor mode to do that and now we can do it the formatting block and the next one is a pull code again that's another style of quoting something with this citation so let's use x y z yes. now the next block is uh, the simple classic editor you can have a classic text editor over here as well if you're not comfortable with any blogs paragraph stuff and then you can add pre-formatted text or a code or anything in the pre method and for a code you have another block where you can write your own code snippet to actually display that code to the readers and that's table and uh, you can see the difference how we used to add tables here we have to define the columns uh, in the start and then we click create and that's how it is going to show and the good thing about this editor is like I'm adding a heading and it is showing me what would be the bit the final bit that will be displayed in the front so it's quite uh, you know good thing that we can actually see what, how the table is going to show up on the front Uh, the next block is a verse. I actually don't understand much about this block. It is a simple verse text here where you can, you know, add additional class to. But it seems to be similar as a paragraph uh, text. Anyhow. You can also transform it to paragraph or anything. You can actually transform any block to anything. I think that's all for the formatting. Let's go for the layout elements. Well, with the layouts, you can add columns, buttons, and spacers. So, if we want to add a custom space, we can use that since we have that in many, a lot of custom builders. So, I think that's a very good element that we can add. Let's add columns now here you can uh, define the number of columns and the maximum number of columns that you can add is uh, six and minimum is two so using that you can add uh, columns which is also a good feature and it uh, was not here already and now it is you can change the column settings using the right hand side the property log this block that's the third column I've added and you can also add further blocks in each column and that's what make it more you know useful that's the second column and the second row first column and second row that's how I made uh, a three by three column now the next block which is media and text uh, I actually like this block because the layout is really cool and you can add the title of any thumbnail over here like we used above but this one is better and the summary of the image and the image itself 
and that's how you can define it then on we have uh, again in the layout element we can add more a page break and a separator these are now in separate block so that's all for the layout elements now sorry that's another element that's a button that's a really good one you can actually add custom buttons over here with custom text and custom links so it was uh, much needed the button because we do need buttons most of the time and themes provide custom shortcodes have to provide custom shortcodes for that now they don't so that's a good feature and yeah that's it for the layout elements and now you can add widgets like shortcodes if you have uh, traditional shortcodes you can use that as well and there's built-in feature like latest post and uh, these uh, blocks by default which is a good thing uh, I'm going with widget you can also add latest comments and categories and stuff all the widgets are here now the embed section you can embed any additional video or any other stuff and you can actually also view the front and how the width and all uh, the play layout is going to look right in the back end of your editor which is I guess is a cool thing And then we can add we can embed a lot of other stuff over here as well these are all the default features but most of the plugins in the future will have much more for it if it is required that's a custom embed element you can also embed it any PDF or something anything else you want to embed here. so let's just publish this thing and see if it looks same as it looks in the back end it should since our theme is actually ready for this uh, editor mm. it's almost same that's paragraph that the text that say the cover image these are the list these are uh, the images and the quotes and my classic editor my code snippet my table my verse here my spacer then columns and thumbnails and that's the page break let's go to second page and there's our button and there's our embedded video and that's it these are all the blocks that we can add thank you so much for watching guys do subscribe and comment on your reviews what you think of Gutenberg for my conclusion, I guess it's a good start. For start, it would be difficult, but it is a good start. And this is something which we needed the most. We always have to go for the custom builder. And we don't want to do that. So it would be a good, it is a good feature that we have that builder right in our default core WordPress. So all the plugins and themes must be integrated with that. So that's a very good start. Thank you for watching again. Do subscribe and comment to this video. Thanks.